Hey y'all, welcome to Word of Hannah. Welcome back if you're returning. So, I'm channeling right now that there's somebody who is about to go ahead and um, say fuck it. There's somebody who just got some really, really bad news. I think this is somebody who recently got fired and they're supposed to go up and get their stuff and they're going to they're gonna pop off. And there, and so whoever this applies for, like you need to go ahead and let security know. See, the thing about this is, it's better to just go ahead and let, uh, let everybody know what time it is than it is to like sit back and be like, oh, I don't want anybody to be alarmed. I don't want anybody to be concerned, be afraid. Da, da, da. You know, oh, he ain't gonna do like, like don't do that. Okay, because how many times do we have to essentially be exposed to these stories where people do in fact pop off before we realize that sometimes we're around people. Who have a propensity to pop off? Like, can we not wait? So, if you're feeling like you don't need to go to work today, don't go to work today. If you're feeling like such and such might pop off, let it be known. And don't just tell this person over here and, and expect them to, like, tell everybody that if you see this person, be on guard. Tell everybody, tell the parking lot security, tell everybody needs to know to be on the lookout for this person. Whoever this person is that's popping up in your head right now, that's the person who's going to pop off. And this is somebody who more than likely already has mental issues, may have spent some time in jail, may definitely spend some time in jail, and essentially isn't mentally well. They don't take their medication. And this is the this is the encounter that I channeled probably about a week or two ago where I said that somebody and I think I uploaded it. Livia, yeah. you need to go spit that out. And I, I, I'm i pretty sure I uploaded it, but where I channeled that something was going to pop off between two men at work. And um, I started getting it really, really heavy again last week. And then in the last couple, no, it was, it was specifically last week. I just kept feeling like there was something that was going to happen and like somebody has a gun and and they're mad about something and they're going to they're they're going to do something irrational um because this person doesn't take input from anybody they're not able to their life has been hard because they won't listen to nobody so they won't take they won't listen to their doctor and take their medication they won't listen to their therapist and, and make regular appointments they won't do anything differently and so because they keep doing things the same way because of their mental health and because of their upbringing this is more than likely going to be the person who i channeled who grew up either in foster care or grew up in like a violent home or grew up around people who didn't communicate in a healthy manner this is somebody who has issues that are not being worked on so these issues continue to create problems because this person don't want to work on a, on their issues. Whoever this person is, everybody everybody needs to be on guard about this person. Like type, soon as they pull up, you need to have your hand on on your pistol, on your pow pow. Like not Ain't no need to pull out just yet because, you know, if you pull out, you, you finna shoot somebody. You finna, it's finna be bang, 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 right? Not quite that point, but have your hand on your shit. Because something about this person's personality is where they want to catch people off guard. They think that you don't know that... I heard what they're capable of. You, They are banking on you not knowing what they're up to or what they're planning or that they have a strap or that they'll you like they're banking like this person's not OK mentally. Like this person is like still looking at things from a standpoint of having an advantage like this person still doesn't quite has not come to grips with the fact that they have a issue 
that they are mentally unwell, like they're really unwell. Like I heard um, psych psychopathy, psychopathy. I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this person has a form of psychosis and they look at the damage that they cause as an accomplishment, not a problem. And so... Whoever it is who said that last final something that may have resulted in this person being fired is the person who doesn't need to go to work today. No matter what the loss is, you don't need to be there. I don't care if you're in a parking lot. Like, I don't care if you're already there. Take your ass home. <laughs> 